start the video from the ODU Field Hockey team. I'm Nicole Goff from San Diego, California. I'm 22 years old. I love to dribble and I love scrapbooking. Hi, I'm Katie Nearhouse. I'm 25 years old from Boston, Massachusetts. I'm good at hustling and I love playing with hot Cheetos. Hi, I'm Kayla Walsh. I'm 17 years old from Honolulu, Hawaii. And I'm really good at marking and my favorite movie is The Grinch. Hi, I'm Christy Longacre from South Africa. I'm 21 years old and I am very good at hitting and I love the color purple. Enjoy the show! Happy Christmas! Oh, hey Katie, what are you doing? Hey, I was just wondering if I could ask you a question. Sure, do you want to see the cookies I made first? Yeah, what'd you make? Those stones, no, but it's cookies. Oh, those are cute. I was wondering, why do you think ODU Field Hockey always has had such good cohesion? Why do you think alumni have always come back? I'd say because the girls that usually come in are very hardworking and very proud of everything they do and accomplished individuals. And then once you get here, you meet other girls like that that are your teammates that work just as hard and want to be there for you. And you go through a lot of hard times and good times and you work together through those times. And a lot of the alumni like to come back and like show that, share their experiences, help out practices and games. And it really, everybody's just really proud of everything they do. And I think that's really great. Thanks, you look cute in your Christmas outfit. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells swing and jingle bells ring. Hey Katie, just got done sweeping away for Santa. Hey Nick, I was wondering if I could ask you a question. If you quit, it's Santa Claus is coming to town. Alright, you let me know what you think makes a good ODU field hockey team player. Well, here, you've got to be competitive or you're not going to make it through. You have to have a good attitude, a genuine heart, be a good person deep down inside. You've got to be willing to push yourself on and off the field. you got to keep your off-the-field business off the field. Don't bring it on the turf. We don't want to deal with that. You know, another thing, let me think. Oh, oh these people that can't deal with negative comments. It's not negative, we're just trying to make you better. You gotta take the negative, turn it into the positive. That'll get you through your life. Happy New Year! Hey, yeah. To me how communication and coordination play a role on and off the field with this team. Um, communication is a key factor on and off the field. On offense, we have to know who's open so we know where to pass the ball or where each other is. <laughs> on defense, we have to know, we have to communicate to each other on when to hold, when to step to the ball, and how to position ourselves in passing lanes. Um, we also communicate off the field as well. We always go to team dinners together, different sporting events as a team. And good communication leads to coordination because it keeps everyone on the same page and stay focused throughout the whole season. Season's greetings! <laughs> about team tasks. Explain to me how as individuals you guys stay motivated and then how you translate that into being motivated as a team. Well, um, everyone on the team is motivated on and off the field already and coming here everyone, it's just the way Old Minions put together. Um, <clears throat> since Beth Andrews has come here 30 years ago, it's been a winning culture and it continues on today. Um, we have the record for the most national championships, which is nine. Um, and every day in the back of our minds, we're working towards our 10th one, whether it's during season, out of season, hot or cold outside, practicing, whether we want to or not, we're working towards the 10th title. Um, and each day that we have a hard practice or a hard run or a hard lift, we're there pushing for the girl next to us to get through it. Um, we're not worried about ourselves individually, we're worried about the girl that's next to us on the field. Um, when we have a hard run, if we switch it up from one week to another and someone's struggling, we're there giving positive reinforcement to them, um, and we're all just there together. Happy Holidays! The unspoken rules or the norms on the team at ODU Field Hockey. Well, the first um, unspoken rule we have would be dry season, which is no consumption of alcohol during the season. 
The second one, I'd say uh, we have to wear pennies and ODU pennies and ODU shorts and a pair of white socks and blue socks to every practice if expected. And our biggest rule, unspoken rule, is Beth time, which is being 10 minutes early all the time. So if it is 5 o'clock, then you have to be somewhere at 4.50 if they tell us to be there at 5 o'clock. Merry Christmas. Hey guys, since everyone's here, I wondered if I could ask you a question. Sure. Let's sit down on the couch. You could talk to me about the organizational context at ODU Field Hockey, like their awards, your training, and the facility. As far as awards, we get to experience and play in championship games, and we make lasting memories with our teammates. With training, as you heard in all of our videos, we train very hard. We have four-hour practices, and we run and lift an hour a week. Our facility is one of the best places for field hockey. We uh, play out on the turf and in the weight room over at LR Sports Complex. I'm gonna get to know. ...of ODU field hockey, sometimes we have to make decisions. For example, if there's an issue of a person breaking dry season, this is how we attack this problem. The first step in decision making would be defining the problem, which in this case would be that someone's breaking dry season, so they're drinking during the season when they're not supposed to be. After that, we would gather all the information, find out when they were drinking, who they were drinking with, how much they were drinking, before or after a game. Then we would all get together and figure out what the best consequence would be, whether it's running or some other type of punishment. <laughs>